Uh, she's a wonderful singer, but she has a very interesting story. I'm going to just say this much about it. She, when she was a child, she was diagnosed with autism. And, um, uh, you know, that's a very isolating experience. So when I, when I sat down and started talking to her about the show she wanted to do, she fully formed, shared with me, the most beautiful story about how she wanted to do a show of Disney music. Because as a child, it was Disney music that sort of reached into her and gave her a pathway out of herself and able to connect with other people. And, and you know, she's an encyclopedia of all this music. And um, it's really been an incredibly uh, inspiring and moving experience working with her. And I, tonight, I'm sure, is her debut in Los Angeles, right? And um, I'm very thrilled to share with you Katrina Aguilar. Thank you, Clifford, for saving me from falling on my face. Which might have been funny to some of you. But anyways, oh no, ser seriously, um, thank you so much, Clifford, for helping me put together this show. This is, this is a bucket list item for me. And, you know, to put together my two passions, singing and, and Disney. And in speaking of which, this this piece, um, this one is, has been extra special to me because as he pointed out, this, this was how I initially came, came, learned to come into myself. The part of your world from The Little Mermaid. This piece was not only the first song I've ever learned to sing, or even the song that made me dream of becoming a mermaid myself. <laughs> but, but this was about yearning for the seemingly unreachable. And, then, and when you grew up in, the, in an, the autistic spectrum, all you really wanted was to be loved and accepted as part of your world. This stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around her, you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see them dancing, walking around on those, uh, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, uh, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay. I could be part of that world. As isolating as living with autism can be, years, years I've spent in missions have opened my eyes to, to what you might call real outcasts. So much I've, I've seen families in Honduras abandoned and neglected by their own country. Children in the inner cities, parents with their parents lost to drugs and alcohol. Prisoners at Donovan's 
whose fam own families have written them off. And then there's people like me who are, who are, for, who are ostracized for the simple crime of being different. Katrina Aguilar. That was so beautiful, Katrina. Was it that wonderful?